Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Happy Halloween. I can't believe we're already like, I think in our second week of this. I don't know exactly when this video is going up, but I'm pretty sure this is going up in like week two. That's wild. Um, I did a little trick or treat inspired look today. I wanted to just kind of play with the burlapy tones that Sam has with his head and stuff and then the little stitching. I think this one's fun, just kind of a little homage to one of my favorite Halloween movies and I hope you enjoy it. Let me just give you my details really quick. These earrings today are from Undoubtedly Mad on Etsy and this necklace is from Ana Luisa. I mentioned later in the video, but I can't believe I don't own any like trick or treat like themed earrings. I'm gonna have to remedy that soon. <laughs> Anyways, let's just hop in, create this look. I did my full face today, top to bottom, so let's just hop in and create this Sam from Trick or Treat inspired look. I wanted to start with my eyes in case I royally screw up, then at least I wouldn't have wasted all that time doing my face first. So that's why I look like this. So far, all I've done is my brows, um, and I do wanna go ahead and prime my face just so it can sink in while I'm doing my eyes. I'm gonna use the Illamasqua Beyond Veil Primer. I've been using this one lately just to get some use out of it. It reminds me a little bit of the Glossier Future Dew, but it's a little bit creamier, a little bit gooier. I feel like the Future Dew gets slightly more tacky. This one doesn't really do that. It still leaves a nice little glow behind. I'm so excited to be filming another Halloween look. It's actually still September. It's September 29th. I've already got like 10 videos pre-filmed and I'm very excited about it. It feels just like a nice start into the month and a couple days. All right, so I'm gonna prime with my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eye Primer because I've been loving this lately. I'm just going to smear that on and blend it out and just let it do its thing. So I'm gonna be using my Black Moon Cosmetics Orb of Light palette for this look. This palette is always so impossibly hard to open. It's been that way for years for me. I always have to use tweezers to pry it open. Just this little guy like right here because I can use kind of the orange and yellow in my crease and then I want to pack like the yellowy white shade across the lid. You know, that's kind of what I'm feeling. I actually want to start with the yellow called Worm right here. And I'm just going to use this ColourPop E23. It's kind of a tapered blending brush. I want to use this because it's a little bit smaller so I can kind of keep it a little more concentrated. I'm just going to start working it through the crease. And I am going to be doing a full cut crease so I'm not too worried about what my lid area looks like. If anything, I'm trying to avoid that because I don't want to cut everything and then not have anything in my crease. I want to keep everything blended up a bit more. And I am doing a full cut crease today, not a half. We are going full today, which is not usually my strong suit, but I've been getting better at it. You hear those birds just calling outside? It's so lovely. I love being able to open my windows. Florida is not at the time of year yet where I can leave my windows open all day, but I can leave them open sometimes overnight and in the morning. And I love it. There's nothing better than waking up with that crispy air coming in. And I feel like it's happening a little earlier this year. And I'm here for it. So now I want to take Harvest, the orange shade, and I really want to pack that in the crease to really bring forth the orange. Because I want the crease to be mostly orangey and use the yellow more as like a blending shade. For that, I'm going to use this e.l.f. crease brush right here. It's just like a long, skinny blending brush. And again, I'm just going to... Pack it on in. I'm gonna kind of place it where I place the yellow, but just a little bit lower. I want that yellow to peek through a little bit more. Those crows, Colin, it's so cute. I love crows, I think they are adorable. Once I have my orange kind of sufficiently packed like this, I'm gonna go back in with that first brush, no additional product, just to further blend the edges. My bangs are going all over the place because they are not styled. So they are going straight down plastered to my forehead. All right, so I'm pretty content with just that level of orange we have going on and I like how it wings out. So now we're gonna do some cut creasy stuff. I'm just gonna take my Rare Beauty concealer and I'm going to just kind of plop a little bit across the bottom of my lid and I'm gonna look up so I can see where my eye personally transfers so I can kind of follow that line and do some cut creasy things. I'm gonna use this ColourPop E8 brush I'm just gonna start laying down this foundation. Just gonna be slow and steady with this. I wanna make sure my line is as crisp as possible. I am gonna be going back through after I set my lid with my black liner so I can create that stitching effect. But I do want it to just have a good base to go off of so I don't have to freehand as much. 
I can kind of just follow the line when I get to that point. When I get out here, I almost like to imagine that I'm doing a winged liner. And then I kind of just connect it inwards. All right, so kind of, sort of something like that. Now I'm just gonna take this big shade in the middle called New. Yes, I do have a weird little spot of hard pan. I just need to scrape that off. <laughs> it's just such a big shadow, I haven't really worried about it. Uh, I'm just gonna take my ColourPop E4 brush and I'm just gonna load that shade on and just pack this across the lid just to set it and forget it. This is nothing too crazy. I'm just following my blank space and setting my concealer so it's not sticky. And I kind of want this color because it's just kind of like a light pale shade. I feel like any kind of neutral shade will do you good, whatever just you want to use for your eye. I kind of want to use this so that it almost looks like a negative space with the stitching. I'm liking the way this shape is looking a lot, actually. But now is where the tricky part comes in. This is the part where everything could mess up. I'm gonna take my Illamasqua gel liner right here, and I have a really dense, skinny little brush. This is also from Illamasqua, it's the liner brush. And I'm gonna try to precisely just draw a line across this, and then we'll do little stitches. Oh, I'm nervous. I hope this turns out good. Um, hopefully I don't go out of focus during this part because I'm gonna have my mirror and like brush really close to my face. I'll do my best. I'm just gonna try to slowly just create a thin little line. I'm opting for gel liner over like a traditional pen or liquid liner because I feel like sometimes I have more control with a brush and I can really control the amount of product that I see on the brush. So that's kind of why I'm doing this. Sometimes I find it easy to like start in two different spots and meet in the middle. And I'm using the actual lightest pressure of all time because if like something goes astray, I have less product that I have to worry about cleaning up. All right, so far so good. So far so good, that's all I can really say. Okay, I'm pretty content with that actually. I think that actually looks pretty good. Um, so now I just need to draw the little stitches. And I'm actually trying to decide if I want to use this or if I want like a liquid liner with like a pen tip because I might be able to be a little more precise and create just little etches. I think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to take my KVD Beauty Tattoo Liner. Um, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a little like cross here, cross there, X here, like just little stitching looking marks. You don't want them to all look exactly the same. You don't want it to be a specific pattern. You just want to kind of give that effect. Doing the stitching is a lot easier out here because it's a lot more flat when your eye starts to curve it's a little more tricky so you just kind of have to keep your eye as taut as possible. Okay I'm pretty content with that actually. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to catch this eye up to speed and hope I can do somewhat of the same thing um, and then we will regroup and start doing the rest of the face. All right, I'm caught up on both eyes. I'm very pleased with myself that I was able to kind of do it twice. Um, so yeah, let's move on. I've already primed my face. You saw me do that at the beginning. And I don't feel like wearing foundation today. I'm just not in the mood. So we're just gonna go right in with concealer. I got sent the Milk Makeup, like, what is this called? Sunshine Under Eye Tint Plus Brighten. <laughs> it's just a concealer. It's very lightweight. Um, it has this little roller ball thing, which I don't love. You kind of click the pen and then a little bit kind of squirts out. But I mean, it works and a little goes a long way. I mean, it's not crazy high coverage, but as far as the amount goes, it spreads out nice. So I just kind of click it that one time and then just go to town on the areas that I want concealer. I'm just gonna use this little brush. It's an alter ego number four, just to pounce that into the skin. Being careful not to disrupt my eye makeup that I spent a lot of time on. <laughs> It actually didn't take as long as I thought it was going to, so that's very cool. And you could totally do this idea with like anything. You could do like a Sally inspired eye makeup with colors and then do the stitching. You could do like an Oogie Boogie thing. That would have been really cute. You can do like just Frankenstein's monster. I did a Frankenstein's monster inspired look a while back in years past and I enjoyed it. All right, bronzer. I'm still using my Milk Makeup Baked Bronzing Stick. Just gonna plop a little on the nose, the jawline, and the cheekbones. I'm just gonna use this bigger brush, it's an alter ego number two, just to buff all of this out. I'm not trying to be crazy bronzed or anything, I just want a little something something to give some dimension to the face. And then for blush, I'm gonna go in with my Kyla, formerly known as Musse Beauty Color Wash. It's their cream blushes. And I'm gonna use Exuberance, this beautiful orange, because 
I want orange tones for this look. I'm just using this random e.l.f. stipple brush for this just to kind of lightly pounce it on, although that's looking very red. I think I had some red pinkish residue on this brush. There we go, that's a little bit better. <laughs> I also don't wanna be like crazy heavily blushed. Like I still want blush on, but I just want it to kind of fade and melt into this area. Just nice and soft like that. I love this blush duo. I knew for sure this was gonna steal my heart once Autumn rolled its head around. Cause this orange and red combo is just so pretty. I really love their cream blush formula. It blends like a dream on the cheeks. Plop some on the nose, of course. And then to set my under eyes and T-zone area, I'm gonna use my Milk Makeup Blur Setting Powder. This is just a ColourPop F32 brush. Just wanna make sure I'm not sticky and slick under my eyes, around my mouth, because I get some deep smile lines when I don't set around my mouth. And then for the perimeter of my face, because I still like to be very glowy, I'm gonna use my very broken NYX High Gloss Powder. There's just crumbs in here, but it's working. I broke it a while ago, like probably a month ago, and I'm just trying to use the rest of it. I'm using this ColourPop F28 giant brush. I just kind of swirl my brush in those broken pieces and then go to town on the outside of my face. My camera battery died while I was doing that, so if things look shifted, that is why. Um, let's get on to freckles now. I'm gonna use my Freck XL, of course. I'm just gonna do my normal thing. I'm gonna add my new beauty mark that I like to add and then enhance the spots on my face that already exist. I don't know how freckled I want to be today. I guess let's just see what I feel like doing. Obviously, I'm gonna start around the nose area. I think I like that amount. It just makes me feel cute and youthful. So I'm just gonna tap out those other ones. And then for highlight, I want to use the Makeup by Mario Master Crystal Reflector. It's basically the same as the Fenty Diamond Balm. It's just very sheer and sparkly. And that's what I want today. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some of that across the cheeks. Oh, I like that. Kind of adds some glitz and glamor to this look. Oh, I need to do my lower lash line still. Silly me. Um, I wanna just kind of do what I did in my crease. I'm gonna use Harvest and smoke it out with Worm. Just have a nice little same kind of combo going on. There are the birds chirping outside and I love it. It is glorious. I was a little nervous this look wasn't gonna turn out right, but I am really liking it. I wanted to do more than just like orange and green and orange and black and purple and green looks this year. I wanted to do some that were just spooky, but different kind of spooky. Cause I've done so many like Halloween colors kinds of looks and I'm loving this. This is cute. And then for my inner corner, let's just pop that same Makeup by Mario highlight just to keep it cohesive. All right, so. That's that. I'm going to just finish this up. I'm gonna throw in an eye pencil, put on my lashes, pick out a lipstick, and I will be back when I'm complete. Oh, I also need to style my hair because I just rolled out of bed and I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> All right, here's my look complete. I think it's so cute. I'm really into this. I think it's fun. It's festive without it like screaming Halloween or being too overkill if you are going to work or school or something where you can't be too overkill. This could be a fun option to do. The eye pencil I ended up pairing with this is Baked from Melt. It's just kind of like a mustardy brown and I thought it would go good with that kind of burlapy tone we have going on. And then on my lips, I went in first with Dose of Colors Cork for that lovely warm brown. Um, but then I added cider from Dose of Colors in the center to give it more of a yellowy tone to, again, bring forth that burlapy color. I'm sad that I don't own any trick-or-treat jewelry or anything like that. I do have trick-or-treat socks on right now, but closest I had were just jack-o'-lanterns that kind of reminded me of his lollipop. Uh, so yeah, let me zoom out and I will finish up this video. All right, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. I hope you like my look. I think this is so fun. I'm actually going to work in about an hour and I'm excited to wear this today. I think it's cute. Have you seen Trick or Treat before? Do you love it as much as I do? If you haven't seen it, you definitely have to. It is such a good just kind of take on classic Halloween. I love it so much. And fun fact, Sam from my collab palette with Shroud is named after the Sam and Trick or Treat. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me a Halloween related emoji. And if you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you want, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I am Batty Bean on everything. I post every day on Instagram and I'm pretty active on TikTok and Twitter as well. And you can subscribe if you wanna see more of my videos. I'm posting every single day in the month of October. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.